Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Teacup where we are continuing right from where we left off last time. So let's go on to the bakery and get our cookies. If, if I can, there it is. You have to hit the exact right spot to be able to exit the screen uh, to the plaza. Is this the bakery? Here you are. I already wrapped up the co cookies. These go great with tea. <laughs> Take them. L looking forward to tomorrow. Cookies. Cookies are the perfect treat for tea time. To cook some simple vanilla cookies, you only need to follow this recipe. One teaspoon vanilla extract a quarter cup of water, two cups flour, a half cup of oil, one cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, three quarters teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon of sea salt. In a bowl, mix the flour, baking powder, baking soda and a pinch of salt. In another container, add the sugar, oil, water and vanilla extract and mix until well combined. Mix the contents of both bowls and once they are well combined, cover the dough with plastic wrap and refrigerate for an hour. Preheat the oven to 190 degrees Celsius. Take the dough out of the refrigerator and with the help of a spoon, create small mounds. Bake for 10 minutes. Wait for them to cool down and enjoy. I may have to try this recipe one day. Order number 22, croissant. I see you found Linden. What were the cookies for? Oh, a tea party. I'm more of a coffee person myself. But tea does go pretty well with cookies. You noticed the order numbering seems off. Well, I just think of any number between one and a thousand. It might sound like a weird system, but it works pretty well when your memory is as good as mine. Okay. The best flavors in Little Pond. Oh. Order number 400, cinnamon roll, no cinnamon. Fresh baguettes, perfect for fencing. Special cakes. Pomegranate cake. Cookie cream puff. Red velvet Russian roulette cake. Condensed milk cream bread. Hmm. Well. They certainly sound unique. Um, right. Next, I think we should go to the forest. See about those guys who... who asked for the wool. Is 
Is it these guys? Hey there, tadpole. Have you come to join our knitting workshop? Knitted sweaters don't appear out of thin air, you know. And this town severely lacks knitted sweaters. Oh, Pankrati sent you. A new shipment of wool arrived? That's rad. Thanks for telling us. If you're looking for the town anniversary festival, it's right ahead on this path. Oh, you're looking for tea? The fields ahead have a lot of vegetation, so you should keep your eyes open. Be careful though, we heard something about some dangerous looking dudes wandering the forest. <laughs> dangerous looking dudes, I think it meant you guys. You do look rather dangerous. Right, keep an eye out for, well that's sparkly, this plant looks familiar, wait, it's lemon verbena, you could pluck a few leaves, lemon verbena is also known as lemon bee bush or fragrant verbena is a plant for ornamental use that can also be made into an infusion. To prepare it, place the lemon verbena leaves in water and boil for 15 minutes or, in case the leaves are dry, prepare one tablespoon for one liter of freshly boiled water, then let it rest. It can be prepared with mint and honey. This herb is calming. It can help with anxiety and insomnia and can relieve stomach pains. Its smell is strong and lemony. The shrub has elongated leaves and its, its flower is small and can be white or pale purple. It grows near bodies of water in the forest to the east of Little Pond. Nice. Uh, how do I get back out of here? That way. So, I guess we should check out the festival. This event wouldn't be possible without me and the townspeople's hard work. Want some elderflower drink? It's ice from the town. You like it? I can give you the recipe. It's one of my faves. Maybe it's because you don't really say anything, but it's easy talking to you. Have you tried my taco recipe? They are the best. Sauteed diced potatoes with a pinch of garlic. Coriander, tomato, avocado, fried onion, mmm. I'm gonna get myself one. Can I talk to you guys? I thought it was going to be hot outside today, but Adora was right. It's really nice here. Yeah. Teacup. We were talking about how nice the weather today turned out to be. Come sit with us. 
I'm curious. What brings you here on such a busy day? Oh, you're looking for tea? Haha, <laughs> classic teacup. Well, how many herbs have you got already? Wow, you're almost done. Maybe next time we can join you on your quest. Wish you'd come by a little bit earlier. You could have heard us play with the band. If you're up for it, you can come see us on Saturday. Yeah, that'd be great. Have you talked to your grandma? How is she? <laughs> Lyndon keeps asking her about her famous peanut butter cookies recipe, but she keeps it a secret. Are you hungry? Mm. Now that you're here, you could get yourself some tacos. There's also a stand with ice brought from the city. I can get you some if you're too embarrassed to ask. Or you can stay here and enjoy the afternoon. It's a very pleasant afternoon. You want to keep on going? Don't worry. Good luck and see you tomorrow. It's a nice day to get some sunlight. The sound of the breeze is the best. Look, Mum, that kite looks like a big balloon. Yes, dear. Wait, that actually does look like a balloon cart. Oh, there was that person wondering what had happened to his first cot. This wind is not so strong, but my carpet has taken off twice. Uh-oh, I don't think I have any magic powder left. I bet it's going to come to life and fly away into the distance, huh? Oh no, I'm just joking. What's with that serious look? Well... It wouldn't be the first time I've encountered a flying carpet. A frog? No, I'm a toad. Okay... Can I talk to you two? No? Ah. Look, look, I can already count to ten. Ten, two, eight, seven, five, four. He's learning how to count. Sadly, he changes the order each time. Huh. What's this? Oh. Welcome to my humble cafeteria. Would you like a cup of tea or coffee? Oh. Tea? Wonderful! Here you go. Oh. Ah, from your face I'm guessing you didn't like it very much. The truth is, I really love these beverages, but I can't get them right despite my best efforts. Uh -huh. Oh, you say you know a lot about tea and you'd actually teach me? Marvellous! I'll listen carefully to your teachings. Hmm. I see. Oh, that's how you do it. Uh-huh. I understand. That makes sense. 
amazing. I've been doing it wrong all along. But I'm ready to reinvent myself, starting right now. I don't think I can practice these new techniques and serve customers at the same time, though. Will you help me? I'll make sure it's worth your time. Thank you so much. Prepare the orders while you wait the customers. The right drink. Kerim needs your help to get his business moving. Request and retrieve coffee from Kerim at the cart. And deliver the coffee to incoming customers. Okay. Ah, you're going over there. Okay. There you go. And... I wonder how long I have to keep doing this. Getting a bit hectic. Oh, there's actually a rush. No, there's one more. I wonder if this is the last one. Yep, that was the last one. That was incredible. Thank you so much. I'd never had so many customers. You're organizing a tea party? Say no more. I will aid you. These kinds of meetings are the foundation of life itself, especially when accompanied by the right drinks. Uh -huh. To thank you for your help, I'm giving you black tea, green tea and sugar. You never know if one of your friends may have a ferocious sweet tooth. Also, take this white tea. It doesn't sell much, but I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Thank you. Basic teas. Black tea is obtained from the infusion of dried leaves from the Camellia sinensis bush. It is one of the teas with the strongest flavor and color, mainly due to the fact that its oxidation process lasts longer. For the same reason, its flavor remains for more than a year after it's produced. It is high in theine, which is a type of caffeine that has antioxidant properties. This tea can be used as a base to create other drink other drinks for example with mint or jasmine it also tastes great when cold green tea is obtained from the same bush as black tea but the difference is that these leaves haven't oxidized 
This is evident in its mild flavor and color. Like black tea, this beverage is an antioxidant, but it contains lower levels of thane, making it a less stimulating option. Tastes great when sweetened with honey. All right. Come get some more whenever you need it. Was there a thing about white tea as well? Yes. White tea also comes from the Camella sinensis bush. The youngest leaves of the plant are chosen and are hardly processed. First, they are left to wither and then are dried in the sun where they are minimally oxidized. It is called white tea because of the small white threads that emerge from the leaf, but the infusion is usually yellowish in color. What a soft and delicate flavor! There are different types of sugar, such as sucrose, that comes from sugarcane or beets, and fructose, naturally present in fruit. Any of these is perfect for sweetening your tea. All right. So we have the basics, honey, uh, lemon verbena, mint, jasmine and cookies. We still have quite a few left. Okay. I guess um, we should go back to the plaza. I think there was going to be a play. Except one member. Uh -huh. Hold on, Froggy. I'm trying to sort out some last minute problems. Hmm. The play will be due soon, and she's still not here. Uh -huh. Oh, some members went to see what's going on. We're almost ready. Don't miss out on this year's best theatrical performance. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I guess we should go exploring a little. While we wait. We haven't been to the villa yet. Sorry, this road is closed for the time being. For now, there is no way through this trunk. We're working as fast as we can to restore access to the other houses. Please come back later. Right. 
what's over here? Two houses, all right. The Mad King, who may that have been? Deities and symbolic representations of the actions of conscious beings in mythology. View. Surreal. The mysterious art of daydreaming. Learn the secrets of the subconscious and your past lives. Another thirsty plant, they seem to be popular in Little Pond. Tools of communication and elemental discourse and hermeneutics of narrated life. These books sure analyze everything in detail. Thoughts on awakening and the expectation of the Song of Dawn. That's a particular way of describing thoughts before sunrise. Is she laughing? Is she somber? More importantly, why won't she stop staring at you? Good morning. Oh, you're Otto's neighbor. It's a pleasure. A friend of my teacher is a friend of mine. Uh -huh. Tea, that's wonderful. I prefer Moroccan coffee, but on my trips some tribes have offered me tea. There's one in particular that I've been looking for, but it's very hard to find. Its special quality was that it transported you to a world of dreams. Oh, I have some of that. Sorry, sometimes I start to ramble. Mm. What do you need? Now that I think about it, I've never seen you around here before. It's nice to see you're outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I have some rooibos. It's only enough for one cup though. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. Ricard gave it to me when I decided to sponsor him. His family lives by the port and they're always sending him some. You can find him by the pond in the lighthouse. Be nice to him. He's kind of aloof. All right. Mr. Ricard. Let's go check out the other house here. Hi, Rose, is that you? <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> I thought you were my piano student. Wait, your teacup? You're Thea's granddaughter, what a nice surprise. <laughs> oh, I see, you look a lot like her. She also enjoys drinking tea. I like it too, <laughs> although I only drink hibiscus tea, it's nice and fresh. Oh, 
You want some for your tea party? Of course, I can give you some flowers for you to enjoy. Hibiscus Hibiscus tea, also known as Agua de Jamaica, is obtained from this from the petals, right? From the petals of the hibiscus flowering plant. It contains antioxidants, is antibacterial, and is loaded with flavor. It is perfect to drink hot or cold. It has a strong fruity flavor and a characteristic pink color. Ah, the piano. Yes, I love to play. I can't see much anymore, but I know just fine where each key is. You can come by any time to hear me play. Sometimes I play with that friend of yours, Adele. It'd be an honor. I'm too tired for that today, sadly. We'll see each other soon. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. You too. Someday you'll learn how to play the piano, but not today. Right? Well, I guess our next stop is the lighthouse at the pond. There we go. Lighthouse is this way. Oh, I can't talk to you. Up we go. Let's continue from here next time though. So if you like this video, please leave it a like. And if you'd like to support my efforts here on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. It is quick and easy and doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me a lot. Thanks so much for watching. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you in the comments below.